I'm Dr. Peace Amare Bulam, consultant orthopedic surgeon with Federal Medical Center, Omania. I have a special interest in pediatric orthopedics and I am also the founding chairman of the Straight Child Foundation, a non-profit organization that is focused on childhood disabilities and deformities. And among the deformities, Love foot is the most common musculoskeletal deformity and we have a special interest in that. It is a deformity that causes disability in children, but it doesn't have to be like that. It's one deformity that is very easily treated. The treatment is even cheap. Worldwide, the adopted method of treatment is the Ponseti method of treatment, which was named after Ignatius Ponseti, a man who worked and practiced at the University of Iowa in the United States. He did so much work on love foot and you know, um, I would say discovered this method of non-operative treatment of love foot, which is cheap. It uses just POP and the correction is wonderful. At the end of the day, the foot is plenty great, is functional, the child places the foot on the ground, is able to do lots of things and it is cheap. Unfortunately, we also appreciate that in this part of the world and other developing countries, the quantity treatment, which we say is cheap, is not exactly cheap because some people are still not able to afford it. And some don't even know that raw food can be easily treated. Some don't even know that there are treatment centers very close to them for raw food. Maybe someone is even asking, what exactly is this cloth food? Cloth food is this deformity that you find in children where the foot is now shaped like a glove. It's turned in and awkward so that the child, if the child is of working age, the child works on the side of the foot. And you know, with that, it develops, uh, he or she develops a callus and is not able to run fast, is not able to play football very easily. And most of all, the child cannot wear shoes. You know, for the female children, I've seen so many parents come with their children, and the first excitement on getting the feet corrected is that this child cannot wear shoes. And therefore, a particular girl child that we saw in our clinic, we made fun of it that she's, she will soon start wearing high heels and will start doing shakara for us. And after her feet were corrected, she actually came sometime on her beautiful shoes to show us how well she could work and I mean we were all excited about it. So Ignacio Ponsetti was a man who popularized this non-operative treatment of um, claw foot using just manipulation and casting to get things normal. And it's a system that works so well. It had, the, the correction rate is more than 95%, so that shows you that most feet will get corrected. And it has two phases. First of all, the, the phase where we manipulate the foot into shape, and it's a sequence that I'm not going to talk about now, but um, you will see on the videos, the, the, the child comes with a deformity, and first of all, we correct using the right sequence. After the correction, there is a time for tenotomy, which is a small oppression where the, the, the tendon, the Achilles tendon at the back of the ankle is just cut neatly. And afterwards, the last cast. When that cast is now removed, the child goes on to wear face, which they wear from the time that we had done the correction up till eight, five years. And the correction is always very good. Like I said, Ignatius Ponsetti started this. Today, being the World Club Food Day, is his birthday. He's late now, but what well, people have used the June 3rd, which was the birthday of Ponsetti, to mark the World Club Food Day. Mark the fact that using the Ponsetti method, which is cheap, 
people, children can have their feet corrected and they can go on to have even professional lives that they use their feet. Steven Gerrard, I know a lot of people would know that name. He is a popular European footballer. He had no foot as a child. But I mean with the his expert we and everything on the football field. We could never tell he had something like that. So it just shows you that conflict can be corrected. It does not have to cause all the deformity, all the disabilities in children. And I will also use this opportunity to talk about the treatment of the clawfoot at FMC Omaha. When you come to FMC Omaha or you bring a child to FMC Omaha, at the clawfoot clinic, which holds on Thursdays, Thursday mornings, by 8.30 we had already started. Thursdays at the FMC Omaha, our family clinic is located at the first floor of the consulting complex in FMC. The consulting complex is a big building, it's a two-story building, you can't miss it. It's just opposite the casualty when you come into FMC. So there we have our coffee clinic. And the very important thing you need to know about our coffee clinic in FMC Omaha is that care for the child with coffee is free. So this, that's why I said that this deformity should not cause any disability in your child. So if you, ha if you have a child who has no food, or you know someone whose child has no food, and you don't know that it could be treated, please tell them that there is treatment in our fancy mind. And not just that there is treatment, this treatment is even free. The only thing that the parent is expected to pay is the money to get the folder. Once you have the folder and you bring the child to the coffee clinic, every other thing, the provision of the cast is free for the child. When they, it's time to do the tenotomy, it is also done at the clinic and it is also free for the child. When it's time to put on braces, there are braces for the child to wear. If he, if he or she has grows one size, there's another size up to the time when he or she doesn't need to wear braces anymore. So these are all provided. The idea is that cloth food should not cause disability in any child. Cloth food should not be the reason why any female child should not wear her beautiful shoes or the male child should not play football and get prizes or join the military, whichever. Um, arm of the military, the person is interested if that's what the person would want to do. So don't deprive the child for any reason. Bring the child to FMC home market, your spending clinic, and the treatment will be accessed for free. My former MD, when we started this program, Dr. Valichuku, he was very supportive of the program and he would always say that the, the, the program is free because someone has paid for it. So the payment which has made it free for the parent, for the children who benefit from it has been made through a partnership between the Stretch Out Foundation and Miracle Fit. The Stretch Out Foundation is a non-profit organization, like I said earlier, that is focused on childhood disabilities and deformities. We have this vision, we have this belief that no child should be limited, no child should you know, live a life that is limited. Every child should have the ability to live beyond whatever limitations. And lawfoot is just a little limitation and should not actually cause a disability for any child. So we have our office at 121 Abba Road, but many of us are professionals, like I'm an orthopedic surgeon. The team leader in the Stretcher Foundation is a physiotherapist. There are other professionals, administrators, accountants, you know, doctors, engineers, people of different professions who join us as volunteers because they all have that same interest to see that children are not limited by any disabilities or deformities. And we also have this partnership with the Miracle Fit Incorporated. The Miracle Fit 
is another non-profit organization but have their headquarters in the United States, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, United States. The Miracle Fix was formed by a group of parents who had children with profit and who were treated by the consenting method. So they came together and they felt that having had children whose feet were corrected and living in the United States where everything seems to be available, they should provide support for children living in the developing areas who are not able to access this care very easily. So they go ahead to provide the support and in, a, in, in this case, the support is in terms of providing the cast with the parent which is used during the period of the correction and the braces which are used when it's time to maintain the correction. So they provide this wonderful support. They also provide training for the caregivers in the clinic. So when a new clinic is to be supported, they start first of all with the training of the people who are going to work in the clinic. So there is first the basic consenting training, which is the basics for training for treatment of idiopathic blood food. Then when the clinic has started running, in another six months, there will be the advanced consenting training, which is essentially a time of review to see how the clinic has performed. The monitor again, because there is always the monitoring and evaluation. So monitor again the um, the the care that goes on, see what lapses are uh, present and how they will be corrected. So they do all that, and there is also a cast system of recording where the information is recorded, the patient information is recorded. And as you know, they progress. This gives Miracle Fit access to the records of the people that are seen at the clinic that they are supporting, so that they would also join us in assessing the progress of the patients and how well they are doing. So they are able to make an input when the child is not exactly doing very well. The only limitation that we still have at this moment, or would I rather say the challenge that we still have at this moment, is that we still have parents who bring their children who are beyond the age when consenting treatment alone will correct their deformity. You know, as the child grows, the ligaments are getting um, more rigid, the foot, the bones keep getting fixed in the state of deformity that they have. So for the children who have not presented early, who are five years and above, consenting treatment alone may not be able to correct their deformities. Contest consenting works very well for the newborn child, for children up to two years of age. Between two and five years, well, it's neither here nor there. But most times, when the child is more than five years old, consenting treatment alone may not correct it. This child may also require some surgery for the correction. Of course, you know that there are also adults who have this lawful treatment. So, the surgery is needed at that time, and the support that we have does not cover up to this surgery. So, we are calling on highly spirited individuals, philanthropists, politicians, you know, those who are also willing to come and support the operative parts of this so that the children who were not privileged to get their feet corrected when they were young and who would now require surgery for the correction can now present and you know after the initial casting we we'll still start off with the casting to try and lose it a bit and that helps reduce the extent of surgery then you will take up the payment of the surgery for the children at FMC and they'll be corrected and that will be putting a wonderful smile on the face of the child. So today is World Purpose Day and I'm calling on you again. For those who have children with clawfoot or those who know people who have children with clawfoot, please tell them before those deformities of the foot are not enough to leave the child. Bring them to FMC Oman. There is treatment for them. For those who are older than five years old, consenting treatment alone may not be enough. They may require surgery and we are calling for support. 
you can adopt one child and pay for the treatment and put a wonderful smile on the faces of these children and you also will be happy you have done that. I am Dr. Azumiko MG, the Medical Director of Federal Medical Center, Omaha. Clubfoot is not caused by supernatural forces. It is a medical condition and we have one of the best treatment centers at Federal Medical Center, Omaha. Clubfoot is a treatable deformity. Ponseti method, which comprises serial manipulation and casting, followed with brace wear, is the globally accepted method of idiopathic cloth foot and has more than 90% success rate in children below the age of 2 years. Children below the age of 2 years can access the treatment of club foot at the orthopedic clinic on Thursdays from 8.30 a.m. You will not need to pay for the, you only need to pay for the hospital folder. The plaster of parry cast and braces required are provided free for the child courtesy of the Miracle Feet and the Straight Child Foundation Partnership. We have a multidisciplinary team led by Dr. Peace Omari Bulam who anchors this in the hospital. Avail yourself of this diamond opportunity and save your child from the preventable disability caused by cloth foot. The support of Miracle Feet and Stretcher Foundation for the Clawful Clinic in FMC Moana started in August 2018 and it's still running up to date. And from then till now, we have seen up to 118 children with either Clawful on one side or on both sides. And the correction has been wonderful. A few of the children, maybe about seven or eight, have had surgery in addition. And those were older children, not um, the younger ones, and they've also had correction. For some others that were told about surgery because of their age and the fact that their deformity had become fixed, uh, many of them were not able. Uh, Please, I can remember two or three that went away after because their parents did not have money to um, pay for their surgery and unfortunately the surgery or payment for the surgery is not covered under the support for miracle fit. In the last one year or well almost one year just going by the success that we had in the first year. In the first year between FNC Omar here and Abia State Specialist Hospital we saw up to 94 patients, I mean, for the two centers combined. So when I said 118, I was talking about just FMC one. And this was against what obtained before I joined the services. As in the first two years that I worked here in FMC, I saw less than 10 patients. I mean, less than 10 patients in two years with blood food. I, one would think maybe in Nigeria we don't really have people with profit. But what I have seen in the last 20 months or thereabouts has shown that we actually have these patients, many of them are in the villages and rural areas. Funds, poverty is a major concern. A lot of people are not able to afford the treatment and because they can't afford it, they decide to stay back. But Miracle Fit has given us that support and you know through the partnership between Miracle Fit and Stretcher Foundation we will be, we'll be able to reach many of these children. Some people who come from the villages, I know one mother, I mean because they didn't have money, they they also received transport stipend to enable them attend the clinic. Now the feet are corrected and both mother and daughter they are just very excited. So it's, a, it's really a delight seeing children, seeing that joy on the faces of the children when their feet, their feet are corrected. And also the excitement on the part of the mothers. There was no signs in our environment. They will say the mother caused the deformity. But that deformity is not the fault of the mother. It's not the fault of any spiritual force. It's not the fault of 
the mother-in-law for those who want to blame one but small person or the other or even blame it on witches and witchcraft no it's purely a medical condition and it can also be corrected um the same support that we receive through the miracle feed straight child foundation partnership is extended to um Nabia University Teaching Hospital. They run their Tofu clinic at the trauma center in Oba. Um, I think their clinic is on Tuesdays. And at the University of Rio Teaching Hospital, they also receive similar support and there they run the clinics on Wednesdays. So children who present on those days would benefit from the free care. Right. And we are hoping that in in the coming year, maybe the same care will be extended to the Alex Aikweme um, Federal University Teaching Hospital in Abakiki and University of Nigeria Teaching Hospital. Today is World Plum Food Day, and it's for me, I'm happy to be part of those contributing to see that plum food does not constitute a disability. Miracle Fit and many other organizations, you know, there is something, the Global Profit Initiative. So they have this um, goal called Run Free 2030, which they desire that by the year 2030, no child should have profit. Every child should be able to run very free, should not be limited by profit or any similar deformities. So they provide their support. I will, I will plead with those in our environment to support this and support the children. Tell somebody about the treatment at the centers where they are available so that those who have claw food or people who have children with claw food would ensure that they get care. And for those who require surgery, somebody, I mean you, can contribute to that if you can give whatever you have but any support is good enough and will help put a smile on the face of a child to the members of my team i'm so happy i have the best team anywhere we have a multidisciplinary team physiotherapists plaster technicians the orthotists and prosthet the prosthetists um, even nurses, social workers, I mean it's a wonderful team coming together, working together, putting Christmas on these children and you know not looking at any division. Um, I'm really excited to work with this wonderful group of people in FX Romania and I'll just say God bless you. I mean we are doing a work that nobody pays us extra for doing. We have taken it as part of our normal work at FMC. Of course, it's extra work because we don't, and if we don't do it, we we'll still get our salaries. But we do it, we take that extra stress, that extra time, but it's also an extra joy because those people I know. It's, I mean, it's just extra joy and I'm very proud of the team. I'm grateful they are putting in their time and everything, all the sacrifices. I pray that God will bless each and every one of them in Jesus' name. The current MD has also been wonderful. In fact, the, the World Lawful Day last year, World Lawful Day 2019, he has just come in and he was very instrumental to the World Love Food Day. He supported it both physically and financially. You know, we had um, we had a gathering. We had more like a lecture. People talked. It wasn't just the health professionals talking. Even the parents of children who had love food talked about the limitations that they faced and how the Miracle Feeds Love Food um, Stranger Foundation partnership had helped take away those um, challenges that they faced and you know, it was really wonderful and he still encourages us, he's still part of this program, he's still very excited about seeing that it progresses and that it 
works well and we are very, very, very grateful to you. Today they open it up and then after that they put another cast again. They say we should come in the next three weeks. So they are trying. I'm seeing a better uh, outcome of this uh, treatment. This is not the, how the, his leg was that first day he was born. But there's a difference in that time. They are trying the club food uh, clinic. They are trying. Kudos to them. You see different cases, but at last you see they they will be okay. Going rejoicing, the parents will be rejoicing that their children are now okay. They can walk. I've not spent ten couple since I've been coming. It's free of charge. I have a routine in the Peter. It's a chihuahua routine. But this is not about Bangla na hosting na lazena olo. Mhm, the mass of jomo. Go in with the right cat and no more. So go to a home and take him back. My dad for a home and say so that we live there. My dad who is who na na say who who the poster. But who the poster? The who will get the number? We call the doctor. Doctor PPS. The other one. I'm on the two twelve June twenty fourth. On two we go to an agent. On two we go to an post up and go home and say. See, that is not correct. That is the way it goes. My dad and I are both. 